Hi, my name is John Ball. I'm an application engineer for Xair. I'm going to show you how to install the Model 9017 thermostat into your electrical panel. We use a thermostat in conjunction with a solenoid valve to turn on and off the compressed air to the Xair cabinet coolers. We have two different styles of cabinet coolers, a NEMA 12 and a NEMA 4, 4X, that we use the same thermostat, but they're mounted differently. I'll be showing you how to install for both types of cabinet coolers. And for this demonstration, I'll be uh, mounting this at the top of the, uh, of the panel here. And I'll show you how to do that with a, uh, I'm going to be using anyways a variable size drill bit. Uh, you can also use a knockout uh, to get that 7 eighths hole at the top. Once you have the uh, hole to bird and it's ready to mount your thermostat, yeah, go ahead and remove that top panel nut. Stick the wires up through the hole. And tighten up the panel nut. Now the uh, thread uh, on the very top of that's a half inch NPS. Uh, that can uh, mount up to any of your regular uh, conduit uh, for your wiring. For the NEMA 4 4X cabinet coolers, you'll be receiving a 9017 thermostat with a bracket. We want to follow the same concept uh, for the mounting of the 9017 as the NEMA 12. We need to mount it in kind of the warmest area and also not to have it touch any electrical devices inside. With a bracket, we're going to have to drill two holes to mount it. And it takes either a number 10, uh, it will use either a number 10 screw or a 5 millimeter screw if you want to go metric. I'll be using a number 7 drill or a 1364 so in order to drill the holes. Um, if you look at the bracket, you see we have two different size holes. The largest one fits on to the thermostat. After I got the holes drilled into bird, uh, now we can uh, put the bracket into the cabinet. As I mentioned before, we want to make sure that we use the larger hole to mount the thermostat to. It also comes with a panel nut so that we can lock the thermostat in place. You do have to supply your own hardware. Uh, for this, we're going to be using um, some 1024 screws with some nuts and also some O-rings. Uh, this is going to be placed this is going to be placed in on the screws in order to seal the uh, seal the area that you have. Um, to keep it NEMA 4, uh, you can use, uh, like I said, use the O-rings or you can use a, uh, a thread washer uh, for the screws that go through, or you can put it right, mount it right onto the back plate so you don't have to worry about any holes. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be uh, using the side of this so that uh, we can kind of see the assembly of the bracket and the thermostat. All right, now that I got uh, my bracket in place, I'm going to install the thermostat. Here again, we have the uh, two panel nuts. We'll remove this top one, feed it through the hole.
place on the second panel. Okay. And lock it down. Now it's ready to be uh, hooked up to power and to the solenoid. If you have any questions, you can call us at 1 800 903 9247 and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.